So let's get started with adding the animation package on the enemies so that we can actually have some really nice enemies. So to place the character, pretty much I took the first enemy we had where we were coding everything. Okay, and I just remove the, the model. The model itself only needs to have a few things. Basically the animator with its animation component, of course, and the animator hook. We don't have anything uh, that we need to add in our animator hook, so just add it uh, as a script component. Of course, each of these characters needs to have some collisions so that we can detect hits and uh, whatnot. Okay, so for this guy, because I was kind of a little bit bored to create all the ragdoll, I just added a sphere collider and a rigid body that is kinematic on his spine. Okay, so when I'm attacking, I can actually hit all that. And we need to set up his weapon as well, which if you remember from our great sword, we have a weapon hook that actually points to a collider and it also has a damage collider. So let's close this and let's go and add the weapon hook to this guy. Uh, this is the prefab, so I'm going to unpack it completely and I'm going to add a weapon hook and then let's add this as a box. Yeah, okay, here's a one little problem. This is as a single object, so I kind of want to add the weapon inside going to add this as a weapon hook and then I'm going to add another game object with the damage collider okay we have to add the box collider we have to add the damage collider and we need to make this a trigger yeah I think that should do it so we have to fix this however we have to fix the rotation of it so let's make it like this Okay, yeah, maybe something like that. Now that's pretty much depending how much you want to give him, how much uh, of a damage collisions you want to give him, how big you want it to have. Obviously in Dark Souls there were a few some, uh, yeah, there were a few enemies that weren't really that precise with their damage collision, but anyway. Okay, so that will be the damage collider and we can just add it here and we can close this. So now we can control this with our animations. Speaking of the animations, we can go and add the events. Okay, so on the attack, for example, we have one attack. We can add when the damage collider will, will open, I'm guessing somewhere around here. Okay, then it will close here. I think that's two L's, so yeah. Okay, then we can also so add when he's going to start rotating. And let's take a look at the events. And those events should be Later, enable rotation and disable rotation. Okay. Enable rotation up till here. Okay, and we also know that we can add a screen shake to this. Okay, awesome. So that's for the first attack. We actually have a second attack as well that is a combo from the first attack. For this first part of the video, we're going to 
Okay, well, let's fix the animations first. I'm going to make him be able to rotate here. And till maybe here. Because we kind of want him to start following him. Okay, I'm going to enable to open the damage collider. This and uh, let's also add the screen shake. We also have a way to add the particles, but uh, I don't actually have correct particles for this uh, right now. So we're just going to add this. Okay, so let's go over the animator controller for the butcher. It's really simple. I just have turn left and right animations that look on a locomotion that goes with a simple idle standing combat and a walk forward combat. Okay, so we have an idle and a walk. There is a, a normal idle and a normal walk, but we don't actually have patrol in this case right now, but we're going to add it later on a later video. Okay, so we have a death, a hit that I think we need to change the name when we're hitting them. We'll see, we'll see it later. And we have the attack one and attack one combo and that goes on the attack two. Okay, so this will go like this and like this okay we're going to change this later i just want to have this now for testing where we're going to to have a combo over here where depending on the distance of the player we're going to move onto this animation right now it's just going to randomly select between those two okay they have the exact same uh, distance or well they have the exact same variables right now let's change that okay we can also assign a damage collider to them and let's see i think now it doesn't we don't need that let's see let's just hit play and we'll fix any errors that come up Okay, we need to assign the damage collider, yeah. And I'll probably do make him move a lot faster. But you can see that it just looks a lot more nicer. So let's go over here and let's see. I think I'll just add the Damage Collider myself. I think that should do it. Damage Collider and Damage Collider. Since those are the attacks we need. I think for the enemies we, we use it like this. Yeah, that does it for the Damage Collision. Obviously it should have been a little bit uh, we should have played a, a different animation for our player but whatever the animations as you can see they work really 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 nice now let's go open our AI controller and I kinda want to change how fast we rotate when we are in interaction with which is this of course, we also have rotation from the animator, but I think on this part we don't actually use it. So, mm, right hand rotation. Mm, okay, so let's maybe affect or change the, the rotation from this the AI controller let's 
maybe change this to 0.3 it should make him rotate a lot faster in all cases I don't know why it's, it's interrupting that animation to be honest but yeah that's more better that's more like it yeah that's really nice i think we could even make this be even faster so let's split the speeds because i really like how this works but it won't work for normal rotation speed so i can also pass rot speed then on the two places where we handle rotation which one is here well on the first one which is when we are not interacting we could just pass the rotation speed then we can split this and we can say interact rotation speed and i'm just going to start it as maybe even 0.1 or 15 i think 0.2 was close enough or maybe it should have done it but yeah we'll see okay let's see how we are on time awesome perfect Okay, we need to change the rotation speed, the normal rotation speed, to maybe one or even 1.3 because we actually want him to rotate using the rotation animations, which they are in game right now. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we need to change a little bit the angles for the rotations. But that's actually really, really nice. Let's fix the rotations while we're here as well. So we have turn left, turn right. Uh, we have minimal angle. I'm just going to set this to 25. And to, that should be enough to minus 25 as well. Okay, obviously we don't have any animations over there. Let's see what we do in here. Mm, yeah okay i don't I'm not seeing anywhere why he he will play the first animation but he doesn't seem to have any part of the code yeah we should make him come chase us obviously And let's have him rotate. Yeah, that's really cool. I think we only need a few changes here and there, and that will do it. Now, let's make it, let's try and do the combo. Okay, so on this attack, Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's a combo for the player, not for the enemy. Uh, okay, so let's do the combo on the next part or after we cover the other enemies as well. Awesome. So that's it for this part. Check out the animation package. Link in the description, of course. And of course, don't forget to visit the site, subscribe do the Patreon thing and so on and so on so that we can of course do all these cool things we are doing and we can collaborate with even more or even again with the animator. So I'll see you on the next one.